temperature sensor is really nice. Um, temperature sensors make a big difference because as temperature either drops or hires, if it drops, the voltage increases. If the temperature rises, the voltage drops. It's an inverse correlation. And so you want to make sure that you actually have your batteries charge at the right voltage for the right temperature. If you don't have one, they're going to assume that the batteries are charged at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which is rarely the case. You know, in the Pacific Northwest, most of the time here, the batteries are, you know, located in the hull of the boat. The hull is in a water that's around 55, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And so it's actually going to be rather cool. So the voltages have to be higher in the Pacific Northwest. But if your boat's in Florida, you know, the water's 80, 88, 85, 80. And now suddenly, you know, you've and the air and your batteries might be in 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And so then you want the voltage to be lower. So having a temperature sensor connected to the primary battery is really going to be helpful to actually make sure that your batteries get the right voltage under bulk absorption float. Uh, a battery temperature sensor is essential in actually making sure that your batteries are not only going to get the correct voltage for the right temperature, but also know if ever there's a, a thermal runaway. So they're going to actually cut off the charger. If the batteries overheat too much, they're actually going to pull off the charger. So that would be really good. And don't put the, the temperature sensor anywhere. Put it at the battery that you think is going to be the warmest. So if there's, for example, we were on a boat where there's nine batteries, they put it on the corner battery. And the corner battery that was probably that had the best ventilation, it was the easiest one to put the temperature sensor. But then what happened was the batteries in the middle all swollen up and the one in the corner didn't see it because unfortunately you can't have nine temperature sensors. And so what we did is we ended up putting at the warmest battery and you can use an infrared gun for that to figure out where is the warmest battery and make sure that the one that's going to be the warmest is where the temperature sensor is located.